Hi, it's Veronique and this is part two of our series about sugar. And today I want to cover the impact of sugar on our body and our mind. But it would be a three hour video and I have only a few minutes. So I'm going to focus on what happens to sugar once it enters your body and why, if not used, it turns into fat. So sugar becomes glucose in your blood and glucose is the source of energy for your cells. There is a new diet called the ketogenic diet that promotes the use of fat instead for energy and it works. But let's go back and focus on glucose today. It's not just sugar that becomes glucose in your blood. It is also all the carbohydrates. So when people say to me, well, Veronique, I stopped eating ice cream and lollipops and so forth, but I still cannot lose weight. And I ask them, what are you eating? If you're eating still a lot of pasta and pizza and bread, it does the same. It becomes glucose in your blood. So normally we have a stable level during the day, the one that, you know, we, ne we need to get all little cells, you know, chugging along the day. And we have peaks and troughs because we eat, we have to process the food and so forth. So it's not always like this. But for the sake of this story, what happens when you have, you binging and you have a huge amount of carbs or sugar all at once? What happens is that when you eat carbohydrates, within one minute to two hours, they are going to be glucose in your blood. So if you are binging, all of a sudden you have a huge peak of glucose in your blood and your blood, your, your blood cannot handle it. It's bad for your organs. It's attacking your body. So you're in a danger zone and your body is releasing insulin from your pancreas to take away all this extra sugar or glucose from your blood. And guess what? Insulin is taking this extra glucose and stores it as fat. So if you don't move your butt within a few minutes to like two hours when you had a, a large carbohydrate rich lunch or you binged on ice cream or whatever, it's going directly into fat because you're not burning the extra. What happens also is that you have this like trough because you know, insulin took everything away. So no, you don't have enough anymore. That's when you feel like you're groggy, you don't feel like you, you can concentrate, you feel lethargic, because in fact, there is not enough glucose no left in your blood. So what happens is that in order to support this, you are going to have a new craving. You're going to go on a new binge. And then you have this vicious circle, like the hamster on the wheel. I have a lot of sugar, I crash. I have a lot of sugar, I crash. This is very bad for your body. And this is what leads to insulin resistance, metabolic diseases, and ultimately type two diabetes. Okay, so please try to look today at how much sugar or carbs you've been eating and how you've been feeling about it. Next week, or next time, I will give you tips and tricks to manage those cravings, to stabilize your glucose level, and to like get out of this vicious circle. Have a great day.